Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch, and it's another yellow sticker. Yep, been to Morrison's again. Well, I go there quite a lot. It's on my way home from work, so might as well. Anyway, yeah, another yellow sticker. A steak and ale with cheesy mash. Now, you have to take my word for it, that's what it is, because you can't actually see it there, can you? Because the yellow sticker is over the, the um, description, but there you go. Steak and ale with cheesy mash. Reduced from 375 to £1.12. Right, there it is. It's frozen at the moment, so yeah, you can't see really see a lot of it. Right, tender beef, <clears throat> tender beef, and roasted mushrooms in rich ale and onion gravy with buttery mature cheddar mash. Right, what does it say on the back? A longer description. Cooked beef in Ruddle's best ale and onion gravy with roasted mushrooms served with buttery extra mature cheddar cheese mash. This product contains alcohol. Right, let's have a look at the percentages in the ingredients, shall we? Potato 43%, cooked beef 15%, roast mushrooms 8%, Ruddle's best ale, contains barley, 6%, sounds like I'm doing the football results, don't I? Extra mature cheddar cheese, 6%. And you've got a lot of other ingredients, but there doesn't seem to be anything, anything nasty in this. There's no e-numbers, there's no weird and wonderful sounding additives, that, you know, that sound sort of like chemicals. It looks like pretty natural stuff. So, it should be pretty good. I'm hoping it will anyway. Have a look at the ingredients if you like, if it'll focus. Doesn't usually, but you can always have a look on the Morrison's website. Right, 400 grams. Um, the good thing about this is, because I bought it a while ago and froze it, you can actually <coughs> microwave it. <coughs> Excuse me. You can microwave it from frozen. You can't do that with um, all ready meals that are chilled, can you? You have to defrost them first. So yeah, from frozen in the microwave takes uh, four minutes, stir it, five minutes, so nine minutes. If you did it in the oven from frozen, it would take 45 to 50 minutes. It'd probably cost you 45 to 50 pounds of electricity, wouldn't it, to cook it in the blooming oven? Right, British beef, uh, traffic light system, have a look at that if you like. So there's much else I can tell you. No, so I'll get that microwaved. I'm going to have some peas with it as well. Go have peas with something like this, isn't it? And I'll probably have a slice of bread, bread and butter as well, because you've got to have that with it, haven't you, really, to mop up the gravy and put the mash on it as well. Lovely. Right, <laughs> stick you on pause, bring you back when it's all done. It's done. Look at that. Looks quite good, doesn't it? And it smells pretty good as well. You can really smell the ale in that gravy. You really can. Yeah. Now, we've got a few questions about this one, haven't we? Will the mash be cheesy and buttery? Will the gravy taste of ale? And what will the meat be like? Hmm. I mean, the peas are peas, but yeah. Right. Something I was going to check on here, I can't remember what it was. Uh, how many times do I do this, eh? Say, ah, I was just going to... And then I completely forget what it was. Okay, never mind. Carry on. Right, let's try the mash first. I've got a spoon in my hand, so we'll use the spoon. Will it be cheesy and buttery? It's very smooth, it's well seasoned, and yes, it's cheesy and buttery. Not tremendously so, but you can definitely tell that there is cheese and butter in that. <clears throat> I 
I'd like more cheese, of course. Of course I would. I love my cheese. But, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Can you taste the ale in the gravy? Is a big question. Yes, you can. Again, it's not strong. <clears throat> it's not overpowering, which is a good thing, actually, isn't it? You don't want it just tasting completely of beer. But yeah, you can taste the ale. It's very beefy. It's uh, it's quite thick because you've got onions in there as well. And when I was stirring this and when I was serving it up, I saw a couple of big old bits of mushroom. So we'll... Uh, Try to break one with my spoon. I don't know if it's going to play. There we go. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's try a bit of mushroom. A little on the firm side, but absolutely fine. Right, big question. What's the beef like? That's what I was going to look at. I remind myself how much beef was in it. 15%, that was it. And as I was stirring this, there was sort of one big old chunk and it was breaking up as I was stirring it. Stirring it? That's a good word, isn't it? Uh, stirring it, so I'm hoping it's going to be really tender. Let's have a go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that is melting in the mouth, that beef. That really is. God, I've got to try another piece just to check that, you know, it's all like that. And, yeah, I can break it with my fork. There's a little bit there. Let's have a bit with the mash. Mm hmm Oh, that meat is absolutely lovely. As I said, melt in the mouth. <laughs> Almost too soft. But no, we don't, won't, won't complain about that, will we? Because we don't want chewy beef. And there is a massive... Look at that bit of mushroom. It's enormous. I'll have to cut that up. Right. Let's try a bit of everything. With some peas. Come here. There we go. That is a lovely meal. That really is. That's a good one. Oh, yes. The main thing I was concerned about was the meat. I was thinking, is it going to be chewy? But in my experience, uh, lately, in sort of ready meals, quite often the beef isn't the greatest. But that is really good. British beef. Yeah, British beef. Um, okay. Steak and oil with cheesy mash. <clears throat> That's a good one. Especially for what would I pay? One pound twelve. It's absolutely superb. Oh, I'm dribbling. Dribbling with excitement. That's what it is. Right. Yeah. Recommend that one. I'm going to go and really enjoy the rest of that. I've got my slice of bread and butter ready. On my tray. In there. So, uh, I'll go, yeah, I'll go and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.